What's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil on my 2010 Porsche Cayman. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. This is just going to lift the car, place it up on jack stands. I think if you want to just use ramps and lift the rear end of the car, that's okay. I've done that before too. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Once you lift the car up, just undo the drain plug bolt, undo the filter housing, let the oil drain. Uh, put the new filter in, torque the housing to 19 foot-pounds, put the new drain plug in with a brand new crush washer, torque that to about 37 foot-pounds, fill it back up with oil. car takes about eight and a half quarts or so, so I just buy, uh, you know, two five-quart jugs. I'm using Mobile One Zero W40, it's the European oil, and uh, yeah. So here's basically everything you're going to need um, aside from your oil as well as uh, some oil pans to catch the oil. But you just need a torque wrench, o-ring, a new filter, um, the little filter wrench I think it's a 74 millimeter with 14, 14 flute um, wrench. You can get it off of Amazon for pretty cheap. Brand new crush washer for your drain plug, uh, 8 millimeter Allen head socket couple extensions and a 3 8 ratchet. Before you get started it's a good idea to vent your oil system so I'm just gonna remove the oil fill cap so air can uh, so it can drain a little bit easier. So here we are under the car uh, for reference. That's the front, this is the back. Here's the oil pan. All you have to do is undo this plug. This is the drain plug. It takes an eight millimeter Allen head wrench. Um, if we move over to the driver's side, we will see the oil filter housing. This is this black canister right here. This guy, this dude. So you just take your uh, oil filter wrench, undo it, Try not to spill a ton of oil everywhere, and uh, put it back in. So the oil drain plug should be pretty easy to get off, shouldn't be too tight. Just make sure that you have the Allen head socket properly uh, placed into the drain plug. That'll reduce your risk of uh, stripping the head of the bolt. A few moments later. So here I'm just taking the time to put the oil drain plug back in and as well as cleaning up any of the oil that I might have spilled that is collected on the underside of the oil pan. So here I'm gonna take the oil filter wrench and remove the oil filter. Make sure the wrench is properly seated. Um, you kind of have to jam it on there a little bit since it's a pretty tight fit. The oil filter housing is plastic, so make sure that you guys um, get the wrench on there pretty snug and make sure it's seated on there properly otherwise you could potentially damage the oil filter housing the old oil filter housing uh, you have to take off the o-ring 
right here. I'm just going to use a pick, pull off the old O-ring, uh, the new filter comes with a brand new O-ring. So I'm going to lubricate that with uh, new oil, place it back on here, clean up the threads a little bit and put it back on. So there's grooves right here at the pick. Threads a little bit here. Got some oil. Just gonna lube up the ring a little bit. You don't want it to go on dry, otherwise, uh, you could end up tearing the O-ring, which will lead to leaks. Stick it back on. goes on that this bottom groove. Well, the first real groove after the bottom. Alright, there it is. Seated nice and uh, on the on the first real uh, groove on the filter. So oil filter it's the same on both sides just goes in like that. So here I'm just torquing the oil drain plug. The proper torque spec for this is 37 foot-pounds. Now I'm just cleaning up uh, any of the residual oil as well that is squeezed out of the uh, drain plug. So now we're putting the oil filter housing back onto the car. I'm going to start by hand threading it before grabbing the oil filter wrench and tightening it up to spec. So to be honest, it's kind of a bitch to get threaded onto there. You kind of have to like push on the oil filter housing fairly hard before uh, the threads start making contact with each other. Um, but once you get it, it should spin on. So now I'm just tightening up the oil filter housing. Proper torque spec is 19 foot-pounds, but realistically, I mean, you could just get it hand tight and it'd probably be fine. Once that's all done, I'm gonna finish up by cleaning up all the oil that spilled over the subframe and on the um, side braces and all that stuff. inside the car and top off as needed. So that's it on the oil change guys. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, putting about seven or so quarts into the uh, oil fill spout. What I'll do next is just uh, check the oil levels in the car after the car warms up and then just top off as needed. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Hope that helps you guys. Peace.